Hi everybody, Troy from the Do It Yourself World and the Off Grid Project. I just got off the phone, had an inter interesting conversation with the head of the customer service department for Bushnell. Uh, many of you have seen the recent video where I did the review of the Bushnell game camera that I had. Uh, I had two of them actually that were my part of my primary security for the Off Grid Homestead and they the cameras had failed on me, failed to pick up animals devouring my chickens out here, and also failed to pick up intruders on my property who were openly bragging about it on YouTube. Well, if you have seen the video, then you will you will have seen that the, the customer service rep I talked to didn't treat me politely and actually laughed at me because the cameras had failed. Well, in the phone conversation I had today I received a sincere and deep apology for how I was treated and I was told that that is not the way Bushnell treats a customer that was somebody having a bad day or something was really off but I was told very clearly that if a game camera fails to perform in its duties and its functions such as mine did they would have replaced him for me and also if a game camera the seals can and occasionally will leak there's always a factory defect these things can happen and the rep from Bushnell told me that if a seal happened to fail especially during the guarantee period they would certainly replace the cameras so I, I'm very relieved because Bushnell is a, a huge company that I grew up with. I, I grew up in the country and grew up hunting and Bushnell lenses, Bushnell uh, binoculars, that was the name and still today that that name is is a big name to me. So when I was treated so poorly the other day, uh, well, I was about a month and a half or so ago, I was shocked and hurt. Um, but this phone conversation I just had cleared things up nicely and I'd just like to share this with you all so as not to give Bushnell a bad name. They, they do care about their customers. Um, don't let one man's mistreatment of a customer mess it up for an entire company with a huge reputation in history. So they're going to send me some new game cameras and they're going to test them before sending them out because the um, he figures what happened is the IR, uh, the infrared detection on the cameras that I had probably just failed and uh, were defective, which can happen. And, you know, with any product on the market, there can be problems or, or faulty equipment. And I just got luck of the draw. I guess I got two bad ones because they, uh, they had failed to pick up animals and uh, intruders. So... Bushnell is going to send me two new cameras and I will review them and use them here in, in daily and nightly life here at the off-grid homestead. Uh, right now I've had a quiet time. I haven't had any raccoons out here for a while and I'm very pleased about that fact. They seem to come in waves. Like when one family discovers that there's free chicken meat out here, then the raccoons will be coming in droves until you get rid of the whole family. Um, so right now it's quiet. but they'll be back they always come back there's always more and when that happens I'll use the Bushnell cameras and record the action of the raccoons around my birds and hopefully this time of course get some good video and uh, photos of that also the cameras will be used for primary security at the homestead and uh, I always do move my cameras around by the way so if you see happen to see because I'm recording I, I might forget you might see the camera somewhere and uh, I always move them around because I'm using them for either home security property security animal recording or whatever so you know don't freak out if I show you my cameras one day so anyway I just wanted to straighten that up and clear that up with you that how the rep on the phone treated me back then when I talked about my defective camera is not representative of Bushnell and I want to thank 
the, the person that I talked to today. I didn't ask if I should share his name or not, but anyway, I want to thank him for a conversation we had and for the way I was treated. And um, I want to thank you for giving me another chance to work with your company because uh, it is a company I grew up with. So um, I'm going to link the old video to this. So in case anybody sees that video, they see the follow-up that I was indeed treated fairly. And uh, I, I, I didn't, when I made that phone call that day, I didn't write down his name. I wasn't expecting anything negative. So I didn't take his name. And I'm bad with names, so I purged it from my mind immediately. And um, that guy is probably trembling in his shoes right now because um, he's still there. And uh, he probably knows exactly what this is about. And you know, maybe he had a bad day. But anyway, thanks a lot, Bushnell. And uh, we'll see how it works out. Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Talk to you later.